Meantime, almost exactly 24 hours ago, we got new CPI data from the Labor Department, and it showed consumer prices accelerating at the fastest pace in well over a decade. But investors largely seem to have shrugged off the data so far. Major indexes finishing higher, and the government bond yields fell. This all begs the question. It is the trillion, bazillion, gazillion dollar question. Is the market too confident in the idea that inflation will be a temporary phenomenon? The man with the answer, Steve Leisman, joins us now. Steve, what do you think? Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, the idea that the surge in inflation is going to be temporary, well, it looks to be conventional wisdom now if you watch the markets. And that could well turn out to be right. But with stocks at record highs, bond yields, the 10-year, for example, retreating below 150, markets seem to have swung from inflation panic to inflation serenity. And not everyone is so sure the risk is priced right. Joel Nariff of Nariff Advisors told me yesterday, businesses haven't had this kind of pricing power in decades, and they will get used to it. A variety of surveys already show businesses have increased costs from labor and supplies, and they plan to pass them along to consumers. The danger, an inflationary psychology takes hold before prices begin to ease. John Riding of Breen Capital says, with these kind of price increases, for every million dollars of liquid assets, a person is $50,000 worse off than they were a year ago. How does that help the economy? Riding is among those who think the Fed should now be in the process of paring back its asset purchases. Krishna Guha at Evercore ISI thinks the Fed's going to start talking about tapering this June as a way to counter the development of inflationary psychology. He doesn't think, though, it accelerates the taper process. But that is a risk the market faces if these kind of numbers continue for several more months. Here's the deal. As it stands now, strong growth in the second and third quarter, pretty baked in. The real risk to the economy later this year, early next, when the Fed could be taking stimulus away as fiscal stimulus runs out. And then we'll see at that point, Andrew, if inflation is or is not a problem. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.